Now it's time to take off and go to catch the ferry. To Isla Mujeres! Mm -hmm. Andy and Adam, vloggers living in Colorado. After the pandemic shut everything down in March of 2020, we took a hard look at our life up until that moment and realized we'd barely hiked 10 trails in the five years we'd lived in Colorado. This was a huge wake-up call for us as we were prioritizing all of our time working versus living. So we decided to get out into the mountains more. Until now that is, where we decided to trade our beautiful mountains for the ocean. Previously on the vlog, we spent a super chill day at our hotel where we worked, enjoyed pool and hot tub time after, of course, breaking into the hotel next door. We concluded our day with a lovely walk on the beach and a yummy seaside dinner. And now on the vlog. Good morning. Let's go see if there's a pretty sunrise today. The sunrise was beautiful, um, but our video and photography skills, not so much. Yeah, we both had issues with capturing the sunrise this morning. I was like, you know, I'm gonna put the camera back a little bit, capture some of the palm trees, and just as luck would have it, the sun rose up in the middle of the tree. I'm like, how is that possible? Out of all the possible <laughs> angles, he <laughs> lined it up perfectly with the palm tree. I did wonderful. And I overshot the runway with these settings on my camera, but I did capture it just a little bit with an icon and a little bit with the Fuji baby, so Whatever. we're good. I think we're trying to do the sunrise again tomorrow. Now we've learned from our mistakes for today. <laughs> yeah. And so what we're doing today is at 12.30, we are catching a ferry to Isla Mujeres. Mm -hmm. We're going with Adam's dad and family. And uh, I think we're gonna rent some golf carts and drive around. I'm not entirely certain, but we'll take you along. Exactly, the ferry is like a five minute walk that way on the beach for us. Mm -hmm. It's right next door. So it's really convenient. Yeah, exactly. Well, so I think the next thing to do at this point is- Is breakfast. Ooh, breakfast, yeah, hungry. Now it's time to take off and go catch the ferry. To Isla Mujeres. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Take us there, Captain. You got your room key? Tea. Okay. Do you? You guys do the, the room key check before we leave. <laughs> so we are walking on over to the ferry, which is about a five minute walk from our hotel room right now. Right over there. Yep. Right over there. Currently they are offloading all the cars. You can take your cars, you can take trucks over there, you can take motorcycles, bikes, pedestrians, all across the ferry right now. And right now they're unloading the peoples. We just got our tickets to jump on the ferry and then we're gonna head out there and then we're gonna come back about 6.30 tonight. We'll come back to the ferry. Yep. Oh, de ese lado? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Tenemos tú? dos. Bien, okay. gracias. Ok, permítame. ¿También okay. es para el regreso? Ok.
officially on the ferry. It is quite toasty outside, so sunscreen will be in order today quite abundantly. Can't wait to get there though. It's about an hour to the island. So Adam went outside to record the other side of the boat. And while we wait, I just wanted to let you know that there is free Wi-Fi on board. So we have gotten off the ferry and now we're looking for a golf cart rental place. And so you can rent a golf cart and drive around the island. While we're walking down the road here, the, four, the ferry ride itself is about 40 minutes. Yep. And it's about $20 round trip per person, correct? Yes. So what'd you think of the ferry? It was so easy, it was smooth and it's beautiful. I didn't even get motion sickness either. No, it was very smooth. Yeah. The primary way to get around East Wimahedis is by golf carts. Or, or scooter. Or scooter. And so we're walking over the place now to get ourselves a golf cart. Yay! When we got to the golf cart rental company, we got the very last golf cart that they had. We were so oh fortunate God. and so lucky. <laughs> we then jumped in the golf cart and started heading south to the very most southern point of the island which is Punta Sur. It's like, it's got a really strong lime flavor and sugar. 
but it's like really good yeah. though. It's like it's really nice, refreshing. I just want to keep drinking more, but I'm like drink all of Anna's. It's, it's, yeah. pretty, it's like the perfect summer drink. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Maybe we'll get it to go. Oh, on the uh, on the golf cart, we like <laughs> we like everywhere. No, I'll tell them to funnel it into my bottle. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put it in, like one of these things. Okay. All right, cool. So they gave us this bread. It's this sweet almond bread, and it was really, really delicious. It's a little dry, but you know, it is what it is. But it's got delicious flavor. It's like I almost want it for dessert with my coffee. <laughs> Yeah. Great. So far, this place is pretty legit. I've had a little bit of shrimp. The shrimp is cooked to perfection. I've had a little bit of the guac, and it has such an incredible flavor. I'm so excited to eat these tacos. So far, this I see why this place has five stars. And we got a little bit of mango habanero sauce, which is really, really spicy. So if you're into that. They gave us a generous portion, and now Adam's gonna have his hamburger. It's a fork and knife situation. I can't pick that up. <laughs> That's good. That is so good. So, it's got a ton of avocado on it. Uh, it's a piece of fried fish with shrimp on top of it, with a bunch of like onion. It's got some cheese on there. It is delicious. So good. Put a little bit of habanero sauce on there and I'll take it off and see what happens. We made it, and no one died. <laughs> All right, so we have stopped at the very southern part end of the island. But let's go ahead and recap what happened since we got off the ferry. I'm sorry if it's kind of windy. We're trying to like, it's either like the golf carts coming by. Or wind. Or wind. So we're trying our best here with the wind. Uh, so, anyway. okay, so we were on the ferry. Yep, yeah. And so I'll tell this part because it was kind of my story. It's all so, your story. Kind of my story. You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> we were on the ferry and I was trying to record a time lapse of the ferry docking onto Isla Mujeres. And I have the Joby, which is like that malleable tripod, this one, kind of hooked onto the railing. And I was recording a bunch of time-lapse stuff and I really wanted to get the part where like the flap of the ferry came down and like the car started unloading. Except that as we were coming in, like the police kind of rolls up. And then the National Guard rolls up. And they're all looking at our ferry and I'm like, Probably not the wisest thing to do is point a professional looking video camera at the National Guard. So I was like, and I put the camera away and that was kind of the end of that. We like scurried off the ferry, hoped that maybe they weren't there to question me. They did stop some other people. But after that, um, Adam had on his phone some places to rent golf carts. So that's where we headed to next. Yeah, so we jumped in the golf cart. We went through town a little bit. And after that, we turned around and started heading towards the south. Yeah, so basically the north side of the island, or north part of the island, was very, very crowded. It's where all the restaurants, bars, hotels are. I had looked up a place for lunch that had, you know, really high ratings, but we just didn't feel like dealing with all the people. So we decided to go south and kind of see what our luck would bring. And funnily enough, we were like, hey, you know, let's start looking for somewhere to eat for lunch. And I found this place that had five-star reviews, which is called Rinconcito de Frida. So we stopped in and I can see why they had five stars. The food was incredible. If you go, make sure you come hungry because the portions oh are gosh. massive. And it was very generous. And it's very reasonably priced. The staff is very friendly. Oh, yeah. I mean, it looks like you're walking into somebody's kitchen. It <laughs> is a hole in the wall, but it is very good. Highly recommended. So if you're ever in Isla Mujeres and you want something that is pretty legit, 
go yeah, there. Absolutely. So after that, we jumped in the golf cart and we came continue south. And as Edwin said, we are at the southernmost part of the island, which is Punta Sur. Punta Sur, here we are. So, fact man, what you got Ooh, for us? Fact man, I can never pronounce the goddess's name, but this is the part of the Ikaba, E-K-A-B province for the Mayan. And on this particular island lived a goddess. What was her name? I don't, I don't it's know. It's like I-X-C-H-E-L. Ikshil, I think. Something like that. But this was her island, and the only people allowed to live on this island were her priestess and the court that could help her, and they're all females. So when the Spanish came here, they saw all these female statues, and they called it the Island of Women. Or Isla Mujeres. Yeah, exactly, yeah, because I saw it was like, why is there a Weird G in there? Spelling. Uh, but they saw the they saw these statues here and they decided to call it that and that was in the 1500s I believe so it was pretty cool when we were pulling up in the ferry you could see the other side of the island and that's only because not <laughs> only because the island itself is seven kilometers long and 650 meters wide so very that's thin. what I meant to say <laughs> uh, in 2010 there were just over 12,000 people living on the island crazy I'm sure there's more now but there's not a lot of people here and as you've noticed from our videos, the primary mode of transportation on here are taxis, scooters, golf carts, so awesome. pedestrians, pedestrians, maybe <laughs> even bicycles, but the three are what we just said. Yeah, basically. And so one last thing, the, in the city center, it's called the Zocalo. And on every Thursday, they do it, I think, more often than just Thursday, but on Thursdays, they've got like an art fair that comes out, they've got vendors that come out, they've got food, and all that kind of stuff. Yep, it's November, December, January, February, March through April. Yeah. I guess because the summer is rainy season. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Today is Sunday, so we will not be going to it, but if you are here on Thursday, definitely check it out. Pretty much, and so there are restaurants and food vendors invited to sell $10 peso bites and sips at their tables. Yeah. And so basically the whole point of the event is to bring their very talented artists and chefs or culinary experts yeah. to allow the tourists to experience what there is to offer on the island. That's so awesome. So I think at this point I want to walk around here and show you some more views of this area. Yeah, it's spectacular. So let's go. Yeah. This is the lighthouse and before the lighthouse was built they used to have a wall and they would drill holes through the wall and light a big fire have torches behind it so that way the sailors could see the see the fact that there's land here and they didn't run into it so on the south side of the island are some Mayan ruins of the temple that we believe was dedicated or that Ikshil lived in and a little bit about her she is the Mayan goddess of fertility the moon medicine and happiness and in 1988 unfortunately hurricane gilbert hit leaving the foundation and some of the stonework behind which is behind us and it is 30 pesos to get in per person we don't have a ton of pesos left because we spent them all during lunch so we are just here looking from a distance all right so we're just going to finish walking around this park a little bit and then we're going to head back to our golf cart and keep driving up that way on the island and see what else we can see because we have to be back on the ferry before 6 30 because it's the last one for sunday okay we had these in venezuela and i just noticed them and i had to come find out if they were the real ones eee! oh <laughs> Oh my God, I'm feeling so nostalgic. Have you met our noble steed? She's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see our anti-theft system? They've got these like bike locks that you attach to the steering wheel with a lock. And that is the locking system. That's for like a low jack. <laughs> yeah, very important. Yeah, yeah, let's hit the road.
man is going to take some pictures and see what happens. We have no idea. We just saw this place. Okay, let's go. It's been a pretty great day. We're switching the GoPros and we're gonna keep driving. It's an angry chihuahua. <laughs> we're almost there, it's like up there, like where this white building is. Bye, carrito. Let's go. Let's go meander. Next time. Local wildlife. You are going to make somebody very happy tonight. I'm very sorry for your loss. We have made it back to the ferry. After a great day at Isla Mujeres. And it's one of the things like you woke up this morning, we weren't quite sure we were gonna come here, but I'm really glad we did. We were a little cranky because we were tired. <laughs> we woke up early, went to bed late, you know, yada yada. Yeah. But vacation. Happened. And we also had no plans really, we just kinda showed up, so yeah. Definitely. So we're gonna wrap up the vlog here tonight. I think we're gonna hit up the hot tub when we get back to the hotel. It's probably way too dark to bring the camera with us. Yeah. We're sorry. But thanks for touring along with us today. Hope you enjoyed kind of our hodgepodge montage yeah. of Isla Mujeres here in Cancun, or right off the coast of Cancun. Mm -hmm. And please hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Follow us on Instagram. That way you know when videos are coming out. Precisely, and make sure you hit up one of those links below, especially our kit.co links for our blogging uh, gear if you wanna know what it is that we record with. Yeah, we actually bought a new lens for this vlog, not for, sorry, not for this vlog, but for this trip, so we can shoot in tighter Extra spaces. Wide. Yeah, like the hotel room. So if you're interested in what lens we got, check out that kit.co link that Anne was mentioning. Yep, and again, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And tomorrow in the next vlog, we we'll will see you at a food tour. In Cancun. <gasps> Let's go.